Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ugo Chumadingu. If you're new here, welcome. So on this channel, I create content for business owners, entrepreneurs, content creators. I do beauty, I do food, and all the good stuff. So if all these things sound like something you want to know more about, then continue watching, okay? You guys should not mind how I'm looking right now. Like, this pandemic, I mean, this COVID really got me going like this. And actually, I am even appreciating myself the way I actually look, my natural beauty, not a lot of makeup for at least almost throughout this year. Powder I've not gone to this face. All right, and I don't even like to put on powder. I actually like to go on my natural face. Okay, so today on this channel, I'm bringing you guys some things you can actually do when you are feeling when you are not feeling hundred percent yourself. You know, sometimes you can maybe today you're feeling very happy and you know having all the butterflies in your stomach but tomorrow you feel so sad so depressed so angry and all of that so i just want to share some tips of the things you can do so that when you find yourself in that situation you can do it can be something like because to be honest this life actually leave us a decision of we can take a, a drastic um decision of our life like you can even quit your job you can go for a vacation you can relocate change your environment and so all these things can get us out of our doom days so so then i'm going to give you guys the tips so let's continue watching so the first thing to do when you find yourself in this situation is to change environment okay i'm not saying you should relocate of course if you can you should but at this point you know when you find yourself in a depressing mode like if something like that happens to me i know that even getting out of my bed is going to be a miracle like even to brush my teeth so the good thing or how i usually go about it or what i'm advising you to do when you see yourself in that situation even if it means you leaving your bedroom going to someone else's room you know just to move away from the cave of your room you know even if it means walking down the street or maybe going to the park just do something outside your room like so that maybe if your room is not being convenient for you at that point in time you can just take a walk outside you know just move around and come up with that it's going to leave your head when you come back it's going to leave you feeling fresh and and fresh upstairs like you know you get what i mean right so the second thing you have to do when you find yourself in this situation is to um do the things you love okay do the things you actually love like you know treat yourself like do things that can make you happy that moment you're sad okay do something that can actually make you happy that moment you're sad that moment you're sad do things that will make you happy that moment you are sad okay it mustn't be what anyone wants like let's see just be selling what's going to make you happy it could just be to watch your favorite show on the tv and repeat it could just be like maybe you want to maybe arrange your shelf maybe um alphabetical order like you can just arrange them you can just maybe go to the park just treat yourself or you can even go to the gallery or cinema alone you know so the important thing here now is for you to know those things that can actually take you out of that your sad mood to to your happy mood the important thing is to know them and do them when you find yourself in that situation okay just do the things that will make you happy so the third tip here is to allow yourself to feel okay like you know we are all caught up in trying to make everything perfect which is really not possible you know sometimes it's good to allow yourself to screw up it's just like you starting a new job of course you cannot even you you must feel like as you're starting nearly you you must feel then as time goes on you are going to make it better okay because if you don't feel you're not going to achieve it so you have to let yourself to feel sometimes so that you can achieve it in a greater height okay that's number three allow yourself to feel sometimes sometimes you might be seeing yourself as a failure or maybe you are not able to achieve something you think you would achieve so here i'm just 
trying to maybe advise like you can start with doing some little little things that that will help you like so that at the end of the day you will not feel like you didn't achieve anything throughout the day okay that thing could be watering a plant it could be it could be maybe washing off the the maybe stacking your 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 clothes in the washer it could be buying new shit for your bed just just little little things that can you take off from your from your from your list like you've already done it so it's going to create a huge impact so just start by doing little little things that will help and take you a long way okay so the next one here is don't keep quiet okay when you are in a rough patch you have to actually let someone know you don't have to keep quiet it could be your friend it could be someone in your family or someone you actually trust you have to actually talk to the person about it someone you trust i'm sure the person is going to give you a good advice or how to go about it you can't just keep quiet because the more you're keeping quiet the more you're dying in silence so you don't have to keep quiet or if uh, uh, at worst if you don't know who to talk to you can actually call a helpline or you can actually talk to a professional I think that one will help a long way so don't just keep quiet and sink everything all up your alone it's not advisable okay so the next one on the line is remember you can change at any moment okay you know oftentimes we just have to we used to maybe say oh I'm going to do this next week I'm going to do it next month, next year, whatever the case might be, without remembering that things can as well change at any time. We don't have to put time on dates or on any, or maybe work our own time on another person's time. We have to do it when we want to do it. Like if you feel that there is something you need to change now, there is something you need to do now. You have to do it now, not you know trying to postpone it or anything it's, it's not wise just do it when you think is the right time okay so remember you can change at any time so accept your body your mind and all the things you care about you don't need to be overly achiever to get that promotion you don't need to wear that body comfort date to feel confident about yourself you just have to be you you just have to do you okay so i hope you guys are enjoying all the tips i'm dropping the truth is that this topic today is actually giving me life okay because i'm sure i'm speaking to someone out there and you must get one or two things out of this video okay so don't think you're alone because it's very easy to think that everyone has it together like when you see other people posting nice pictures and you feel that they have all achieved all their dreams and all of that you can see someone who will post an engagement picture and you know so many people like and all of that but you might not even know that the person doesn't even have any idea of how he or she is going to come up with the next rent okay so the thing is that people don't tell you what they pass through everybody go through stress the only thing is that they don't also share it on social media okay so you just have to do you don't compare your life with anybody just don't because you don't be surprised you might even be the one whose life is together more than the ones who are out there i don't know if this makes sense but i believe it does so the next one right up is put your focus on something that isn't you like you can, things that you like to do i mean your usual you can just carry that your usual and keep one side and try something else it could be if you're the kind of person who likes staying alone you can just invite friends over and make that delicacy okay you can you know spend that money cook that food for them that everybody will eat and enjoy it's not it's it will not be only that you are doing something to make people happy okay it's also going to make you to come out from that to your isolation zone and give you sense of belonging and all of that so you have to do something that you don't normally do on a normal day okay cooking food is a good idea we can call your friends you hang out with them and the bill is on you 
so the next one i have is quite a little bit um tricky here okay pretending to be someone you are not is always is sometimes not bad okay so just let me give you a scenario let's say that you are the kind of person who is um who is who have stage fright maybe you have um you're supposed to speak to a large number of people and you are the kind of person who have tension that you can you don't have all that confidence okay in this case now you can actually think of someone who is um, very confident like someone who speaks to the crowd like me i know one person i don't know how i don't know if i'm allowed to call him but i can only say she's from Ugidi. if you know who i'm talking about please comment down below <laughs> just comment in the comment section so she can speak to a large crowd so if you if you are tense you can imagine yourself to be her and you know take it off from her from there and talk like her address the crowd and you know it's it's not really a bad idea and in this situation now you're trying to be someone else you are not and it will help you it, it will really help you to do that which you are about to do so just it's good so the next one is to be creative okay i know creativity is such a good time you know to take some time out slow down and do something you just off your phone get a pen and paper okay just it could be a drawing it doesn't have to be fine it doesn't have to be perfect it's just you your paper and your your mind like from your creativity aspect of you you know you just draw something it could be quiet you can you know write something just from off your head do it for yourself it doesn't have to be fine you don't you don't even have to show it to anybody okay so you just do whatever floats your boat you know with that it's going to bring some sparkle in you so be creative you are allowed to mess up it's totally fine okay you don't even owe it to anybody you don't have to answer to anybody it's only yourself when you know you've already made mistake in the first one if you recognize it did maybe you talk to yourself and make it better the next time okay we are not robots we are not baby we are not programmed okay so we are allowed to make mistake nobody is perfect okay yeah so the next one here is it's okay not to have answer for everything okay to, to be honest everything happening right now is i don't think anybody will have answer to anything happening in the world right now so like in your personal life as well it's okay not to even have answer for what's happening it's okay not to know what is even happening okay it's okay not to even have solution to what is happening to you so the only situation or the only solution right here is you don't have to go about worrying yourself on how to do this or how to do that or how to get it together if you don't worry yourself about all these things the solution will actually come to you so you don't have to worry so much about things you can really not change okay so just let it slide and it will surely come together okay so guys we have come to the end of all the tips I'm sure there are more than 10 tips okay I'm sure you must get one or two things new here so if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel give a thumbs up okay also on your notification bell to know when i post a new video okay if there's anything else you want us to talk about or anything to add to this video please put it inside the comment section okay i love you guys and remain blessed bye